Hey guys, this is Klim from Extreme Remake Production and today we have a nice weather out here. It's been raining here 30 minutes ago and now we have a nice sunny weather and a lot of water on the, on the ground. So today we're having a review on the new Sony A7R camera, which is a full frame mirrorless camera with 42.3 megapixel image sensor. It can record in 4K with 30p and also in XAVC as codec as well. So let's have a look what this camera can really do. So as you know, the camera has BSI sensor, back illuminated sensor, and uh, it produces good quality pictures in the low light as well. Gives it more sharpness and also more detail. So we, I have cell 2835 on here, 35 millimeter color size prime lens, and we're gonna try to take some pictures of flowers, for example. So if you go along and take some pictures over here, in the auto mode, and here we go. So as you can see, it looks very sharp, nice colors. It's all in auto mode now, auto focus. The focus is great on this camera as well. So let's go in long and test some auto focus as well. So as we know, this camera has a 399 auto focus point, which allow you to target easily on an object and follow it as well and keep it in focus. So as you can see, this lamp, we targeted it and we followed it up and down and it was all in focus. And you could see the picture as well, all in focus and works well. So let's have a look at some other autofocus examples. So over here we're trying to focus on the vibe casting cars. So as you can see there are no cars at all over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we screwed this up. All right, I put on the Carl Zeiss 2470 lens on and we're gonna see how good the landscape works with this lens and also with this camera. We're gonna see how much detail in them. And also we're gonna try the five axis stabilization and see how well it works when you have a camera handheld. So here we go. So as you know, the layout of the buttons changed in the 7R2 comparing to 7R. We now have a bigger grip we have a shutter button with a bigger switch on button. Also, we have the new dial over here, which you have to press the button in order to switch them on all the modes. And uh, also you have a tilt screen, which is now bigger resolution and uh, sadly it doesn't flip over to your side. So you can't see yourself and can't do any selfies. What a shame. Uh, also, we have a bigger viewfinder with a higher resolution, which allow you to take high res photos as well. The body itself became much larger comparing to 7R. It's more thicker, it's heavier, but it's more solid now. It's all out of metal. There's no any plastic around, but I mean there's plastic around when you have a battery slot. But uh, the memory card slot changed as well. Now the card goes inside the body this way, not inside that way. And, uh, but I don't like this trigger over here, which is here, because you can't... But, but I don't like this trigger over here. You can't really feel it. it it's too much into the body, it's not sticking out quite a lot as you want it to. But I guess they can fix it in the next model, but otherwise this is a perfect camera for shooting around the city. The new A7R2 has a really good stabilization inside of it. It has 5-axis stabilization which allows you to shoot video or photos with no shaking at all. So for example right now I'm filming my cameraman, he's shooting me, I'm shooting him, hello, and uh, we're making sure it's all not shaking. Uh, so I'm holding camera with one hand only. We have a Carl Zeiss 24 70 mm lens and he's making sure he's not gonna bump into that monument over there. Hello. So this is all in autofocus now and we have a system arrow. So we have this weird system arrow and all we need to do is I think take out the battery. This is the first time this happens to me. I'm not sure if it will happen again but I was for recording 4K video. I have quite me slow memory card. Maybe that's why. So you make, must make sure you have a quite high rate, bit rate and speed memory card. And we can on the try switch on now. It works, it's all fine, works well. So as I said before, the autofocus works really well. We're making sure we get everything and everyone in the focus. Uh, so for example, walking around the streets, we must make sure it works well. So if, if you're going along, it all focuses well. Works really nice. Got good colors, no blur, and really, really sharp. That's what I love this, about this camera. Also good color balance, and also really good low light performance, and no noise at all. That's what I love about this. 
All right, over there you can see some guys washing the windows. I'm gonna zoom in with 2470 all up and I'm gonna see how well the sharpness works. I'm gonna see how much detail it gets into them. As you can see it catches the focus on them. I took two photos and uh, now I'm gonna zoom in and have a look how well it ended up. So I zoomed in completely into the thing and the guys works really well. It's sharp, you can see the guy looking into the window. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's looking at some naked chicks. But otherwise, it's all great, fantastic. And now we're going to try to shoot some water as well. How good the blurring is. So, if you go over here, we can, uh, we can see some fountains. I'm not sure if the mic making some noise of water. But we're going to see how well this performs when the speed is quite fast. So we're going to go ahead, take a picture. And then that one, it's a little bit blurred when the water falls, but if we try the, if we try the spot mode, we're gonna try the spot mode, and we're gonna take a picture of the same fountain. One, two, three, up. There we go, the water looks sharp, amazing resolution. Everything in focus, every drop of water can be seen. I'm just gonna quickly try and take a photo of the light coming into the camera, so against the backlight. So as we can see, we have a light coming, the sun over there. I'm gonna try to take a picture. It, it went really quick. There's no any delay, works well. And now we're gonna see the image quality. And it, and it turned out really, really nice with no losing any of the sharpness image details. And the colors are vivid and nice. I enjoy this. <laughs> All right, the A7R has a weather sealed body, which allows you to take photos in extreme situations such as heavy rain uh, in the jungle in the jungle where there are some guys hunting you with the spears and throwing them at you so it's all great for any weather if it's cold or hot or if it's hot when you see a hot girl so this camera is good for any weather I'm not sure how the battery will work in minus 30 degrees here in Moscow it's not winter yet it's still summer here we have like plus 15 degrees today so that's pretty much it I guess it's quite cool So, so we're here on the road and we're going to try to do some landscapes. So I'm going to shoot over there. We have cars coming towards me. So we're going to go out of the way now. Otherwise we get hit by a car. And that's not quite good if we break this badass camera. Also this camera works really well with the third party lenses. You can pop on easily Canon lens like 70 to 200 lens and it will work well and the autofocus works as well. And you know what? It works really, really well. It locks on the target. It tracks the object as well with autofocus uh, and it's just fantastic for any lens you want with any adapters and anything else. Alright, Sony included a new shot in this camera. Comparing to A7R, this is much quieter and you know it sounds just like an orgasm. The orgasm of the really fit girl which is still a virgin, but really sexy. More than 18. Alright, so if we, if we try this, if we press and hopefully it will record this, you, you heard that. That sounds impressive. Okay, and also we have a silence mode as well. So if you're shooting some, someone on the street and you don't want them to notice that, or you're shooting some uh, girl in a changing room, you nerdy bastard, we go to silent mode, you switch it on, and you go like really quiet, so no one sees you taking photos, and you go like, there you go, there's a picture. You didn't hear that, didn't you? Look. There's no sound at all. This is just amazing. You can't even hear it if you put it next to your ear. I can't hear it. It's perfect, amazing for all situations, such as shooting in the church or sports or golf. It's just fantastic. So the only downside about this camera I noticed so far is the battery life. The battery life was never good on the mirrorless cameras. The battery which we have here is uh, the standard as an all A7 series, F FW50. It allows you to take about 300 photos and it lasts about like 30 minutes for a video recording and probably 4K it will last less, like 15 or 20 minutes. That's the only bad thing about this camera. Uh, but I really enjoy how good this camera is built. The build quality is excellent. I like how E-mount was changed and now it's more tight, it's more hard, it's more solid. And uh, when you fix on the lens, you can see the click and it goes in really, really tight and I just enjoy this a lot. 
Finally, we're gonna try the video recording on this camera. We're gonna try 4K with full frame, 4K with super 35 millimeter mode. Then we're gonna try full HD with uh, 60 frames, then with 30 frames, also in full frame and also in 35 millimeter mode. And we're gonna compare them and see which one's better. <laughs> We have a quite busy road over here and we're trying to check the built-in microphone in this camera. So I'm just gonna speak over here for a second. So it's a busy road and we're trying to test the microphone quality. So the really annoying thing about this camera was while you're shooting is if you run out of the juice, you're gonna have to plug in USB cable. But you know what? It didn't allow you to continue filming. It just gave a message on the screen that USB is connected and you can't film anymore. But now you can film at the same time and charge the camera, which is a great point. You can connect to USB, you can take a battery pack with you, plug it into the camera while you're on a go and it will charge straight away and you can use the camera at the same time. All right, we have some juice machines over here. I'm not sure this is some Japanese stuff. I'm not sure. This is Japanese stuff as well. You see correlation. They're friends, Japanese, Japanese, Japan. So we're gonna try to take a shot of this drinks. We go over here, autofocus. All right. So if we go directly at them, it looks still very sharp and in dark parts of the image, it still looks fantastic. All right, so many people wanted to see raw files with 14 bit. All right, here we have, we have it in here and uh, if you want to take a picture with RAW, we can either choose the RAW with JPEG together or we can just choose RAW format. But I'm going to just choose RAW format for, for once and I'm going to take a photo. Oh, there we go. So for the portrait photographer, Sony included a really useful technique in this camera and function, eye focus. So when you're shooting someone's face or someone, it, the camera detects the person's eyes, it catches them and keeps them always in focus, which allows you to get sharp, detailed portraits and make sure the face is always in the focus. Because when you focus on the eyes, you know the portrait will always be great and fantastic. And this camera allows you to do this really well. I really enjoy this and this is a useful feature comparing to the other cameras on the market. All right, as we can see, the eye focus works very well. It locks onto your eye, so if you're moving the camera along, it keeps there, the targeted, and then it's perfect. And so if you take a portrait, it works really well. All right, talking about the price, this is a great price for this piece of kit. You get 4K recording internally, you get full frame sensor with 43.2 megapixel resolution, you get interchangeable lenses, you get this small fantastic body which allows you to carry it around anywhere, pretty much. Really nice build quality with nice grip, um, quite good battery life and also nice dials which allow you to control everything really well. So I think this is a bargain for what you get. All right, so I had this camera for about a week now and I must say this is a fantastic piece of kit. This is just great for all the situations. Maybe not spot, not with 400 millimeter lenses, but this is perfect for portrait photography, landscape, street photography and everything else. This, it works really well in the low light. It does give you really, really sharp images with a good depth of field and good resolution. Also, it records in 4K. This is really important for filmmakers around the world, especially when it records on SD card. So this is a useful feature for you as well if you're considering in this camera for filming. Also, I think it's a fantastic camera because of its sizes. Look how small this thing. This is small, compact, mirrorless camera, full frame, huge 42 megapixel sensor and interchangeable lenses. I mean, there's no other camera on the market which can give you such a good advanced quality images 
and also good usage. So I think this is the best camera out for now, so keep checking out for the new 7S when it will be out, and it's fantastic. See you later, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and have a good evening.